Mr. Tulini, um, you can introduce yourself and talk about your work. Hi, um, I'm Winnie Ho. I am an artist and a designer, um, and I'm currently a student at NYU's ITP program. Um, I'm originally from Hong Kong, and so um, I've created a series of data-driven projects um, that primarily ex explore the relationship between distance and narrative um, in response to the protests in Hong Kong. Um, and so in each of these projects, there are three main um, ones, uh, I work with a different uh, protex artifact um, to sort of explore my distance um, here, whether it's uh, my physical distance being 8,000 miles away from something that I care deeply about, um, the distance in pro-democratic and pro-establishment narratives, um, or the distance in um, media interpretation. So I could go through um, each of them. Um, so the first one um, is called On My Mind. Um, this is a data portrait where I recorded all the protest information I have consumed um, through social media uh, from September up until today. Um, so here on the x-axis you have the dates and on the y-axis you have the time. Um, so it starts from September um, and this is from midnight to 11 p.m. And the brightness of the boxes corresponds to the number of information I've read in that hour. Um, so basically the brighter it is, the more information there is in that hour. Um, and this is sort of um, my attempt to um, bridge that anxiety and despondency that I feel um, being so far away and it's as though the only thing I could do is consume as much as I could. Um, so I could scroll through and I think an observation that um, someone had as they interact with this piece is that it seems like I will consume a lot and then I will pause and then consume a lot again um, and that's quite true. Um, especially as the movement kind of goes on and I kind of get burned out. Um, and then there are these two pieces that are created from these police press conferences. Um, and I scraped the, uh, the YouTube videos, which is actually produced by these pro-Chinese um, media. Um, they have a simultaneous, um, English simultaneous interpretation um, that they added on to these press conference videos. And then I used um, a command line program to scrape all the transcript. Um, and it generated this 600 page transcript that I created um, generative text with. Um, the transcript isn't perfect. Um, but it didn't bother me too much because I feel like there is a um, parallel between a authoritarian narrative and a machine-generated text. Um, and so with the um, text, I also look at the most common um, 300 um, used, most frequently used words. And with that, I mean um, this fridge magnet piece called Magnetic Bullshit, um, where audience could um, make sentences with the, starting with the words um, Hong Kong police. And um, it's quite interesting that I showed this piece last month in Hong Kong. Um, and it was interesting to see how the audience, aside from making sentences, they were also rearranging the magnet pieces um, and ma making them into protest slogans. Um, and then the last piece um, called Interpreted Narratives, I was really inspired by Alessandra Bell's work. Um, and I was really interested in seeing how um, a lot of times when we read the same information, we could have very different interpretations. And I was interested to um, understand that process. Um, so I read a lot of articles um, about the same incident, which is um, the siege of the university, um, Polytechnic University. Um, and so I compiled my own article from a pro, um, authority and pro-democratic um, newspaper. And so what I asked the audience to do is that they could um, highlight the three most important sentences. Um, and then they could select, um, submit three keywords and also select um, a image that they think is most appropriate to the article. Um, and I also asked them whether they've been following the protests in Hong Kong and if they've lived in Hong Kong. Um, and after they gone through the, this exercise, they could see all the responses by other participants. Um, and I tried not to ask too many identifier questions so that um, I could remove myself from judging the answers um, to Blue's identity. What do, you, what do you get from those answers? Um, yeah, so I was trying to just understand like what people think would be the most important, whether they would select um, sentences that are, because so the, I, what I realized is that these 
um, pro-democratic um, media, they would focus more on describing the individual and how these students um, escape the campus, whereas um, the pro-authority pro of, of um, media would um, describe more about destruction. Um, so I was interested to see um, which sentences people would pick up. Um, and it was uh, particularly interesting the first time that I sent out the um, survey, I actually asked um, people, f only people from Hong Kong and China to fill it out. Um, and it, there is actually even divide between like the number of people picking um, the sentences that are more about destruction and the sentences more about um, the individuals. So I'll read some of the sentences that um, the participants here today have made. Um, Hong Kong police behind something unlawful. Hong Kong police attack men over public protests. Hong Kong police cause violent demonstration. Hong Kong police needs mourning within crime. Hong Kong police suspect present sexual letter. Um, Hong Kong police report yellow gas gas. Hong Kong police charge music violence. Hong Kong police end illegal international trains. Hong Kong police hold possible gun hearing. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you, Winnie.